the first one we're doing is medial and lateral malleolus, which are very, very simple, okay? So you can just have them this way. You can let them have them seat and let them hang. Um, so we have medial and lateral. If we just come down our tibia, it's gonna end at our medial malleolus, okay, which is very easy to see on the medial side of the foot. And then our lateral malleolus comes on the lateral side of the foot, okay? Again, which one hangs lower? Lateral. Lateral. So if we get on kind of both of them, and if you see from the top looking down, if I get on the bottom of each one, right, mm -hmm. you can see that the lateral one is lower. Okay, so that's going to prevent that E version from having. So you look at her E version there, and look at her N version there. Okay, which one do we have more of? Inversion. That or that? Yeah. Okay, and where is that motion mostly happening at? What joint? Cow. Calo, cal calo yeah. or, or subtalar, sub sub right? And then we have dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, which is happening more where? Talocrural. Good. Okay. So we're going to find medial lateral malleolus, and if we find medial, we're just going to drop off the back of it, okay? And then we can kind of trace that up. Now you're going to feel a little groove back there, hopefully. Um, and again, we're not necessarily doing it to palpate the groove, but what's going to be back there? Yeah your posterior tib, flexor digitorum longus, flexor halsus longus. They're gonna be the deep component in that leg um, that are gonna come down, wrap around, and then go down to the bottom of the foot, okay? And if we go to the lateral malleolus, and we can sink in behind that to get that lateral groove, and then what's gonna be there? You can see me flick over it, yeah. yeah. So if I push that out of the way, I can feel the groove there, but if I flick over it, then you can see it, right? So you can see kind of part way up the leg, you can see that tending moving. Okay, so what's going to be that? Peroneal. Your peroneals. Yeah, your per peroneals or perineals. What is the side T? Your Tom, Dick, and Harry. Okay. So tib posterior, flexor digitorum longus, flexor halsus longus. Okay. okay, so the muscle that bends this big toe, the longest, there's a brevis under here, but if you flex that big toe, go ahead and flex your big toe. Like, oh. Yeah, you good. And then relax. Go do it again. So you can see yeah. moving right there, right? Because yeah. your flexor halysis longus, your flexor digitorum longus. So the one that flexes the big toe and all your toes, the longest muscle comes around here. So that's why you can see motion. Do it again. So that's the longest. And you might be able to see it up here. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay, so those muscles are actually up here, but when she flexes, the tendons are coming right along there. Okay. All right, um, so that's gonna be medial lateral malleolus, malleolar grooves, okay? Um, tuberosity of the calcaneus, so um, it's basically just at the back, so really there's not much we need to do. If we can trace down the Achilles tendon and then you're gonna hit bone, okay, that's gonna be our tuberosity of our calcaneus, okay? So very easy to find in the back, okay? Um, then we're gonna go sustentaculum tali and the peroneal trochlea. So sustentaculum tali, what part of the, what bone is that on? What bone is that? Calcaneus. Yep, it's part of the calcaneus, yep. So if we find medial malleolus and we drop down about an inch, we're eventually gonna hit a hard spot and it's gonna be a little tender, right? So if I kind of push, push on that, that's gonna be a little tender. That's sustentaculum tali. And the point of that is our deltoid ligament is there for one, but it really helps support that tail that sets in there. Okay, so that's sustentaculum tali. Okay, now if we go on the lateral side of the foot and we find lateral malleolus and then we go down about the same distance, okay, we're gonna find another little bump, okay, and that's gonna be the peroneal trochlea. Okay, so that's right there. And you can feel her, it's pretty good. Okay, then we got, so our talus. Okay, so where's our talus gonna be? So we found our calcaneus, right? So if we find that sustentaculum tali, peroneal trochlea, tuberosity, where's our talus gonna be? On top of it. Above it, below it? Above. Above. Above it, right? So it's gonna be right in this area, right between our calcaneus and our tib and our fib. Okay? So when we find our talus, we're gonna find the head, the trochlea, and the medial tubercle, okay? Um, the trochlea would be the easiest to find. So to get that out of its joint as much as we can, we have to plantar flex and invert the foot. Okay, that's gonna pull that talus anteriorly. Okay, so if we do that, and then we just drop off tib fib, we're gonna hit that right there. That's gonna be the trochlea. Okay, now if I do this, it disappears. I can't feel it anymore. Because now it's gone posteriorly underneath that tib and the fib. So I really have to do that, and you'll see it stick out right there. 
okay? If somebody has had a lot of ankle sprains, if you do that, you'll see this bone really kind of pop out. But to get to that trochlea, plantar flex, invert, and it's gonna pop right out, okay? Now to get to the, um, let's see, the head, so just to go here, we're gonna find navicular tuberosity in another section, but navicular tuberosity is gonna be this big lump right here, okay? Now, the talus articulates with that navicular, right? So if we go from navicular tuberosity and we just drop off of it, kind of posteriorly, that's gonna be the head of the talus, because that's the joint line right there, okay? And then the last is the medial trochlea. So we found sustentaculum tali by dropping straight off medial malleolus until we found that shelf. Now we're gonna drop off about a 45 degree angle and we're gonna get that medial trochlea, okay? And if you invert and evert the foot, you should feel it moving a little bit, okay? So sustentaculum tali straight off. This one's back about a 45 degree angle. And you can feel a bony bump right there. Is that one sore? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this one more sore? Is that some tail? They're both equally, equally sore. sore. Okay. All right, so that's calcaneus and talus. Okay, any questions about those? No?